What's going on everybody and welcome back to another video. So I just want to start off by saying I had to do a voiceover for this video because unfortunately when I was doing the transfer it was corrupt. But what we're going to be working on is replacing the fan module on this Lenovo Yoga uh, C740 81TD laptop. Uh, so let's start off by uh, flipping the laptop over and we're going to be removing some screws. So the first top uh, three screws are the same size and then you have two in the center and then four at the very bottom. So let's get to it and then we'll get this case open. Now to remove the case uh, you want to start from the edges and as you can see on my part here it's a little bit um, popped out already so it makes it a little bit easier but be very gentle when you're doing this so that you don't break the clips that are holding this back cover on so work from the sides um, once you start hearing clicks when it's coming out um, then you work your way towards the center all the way to the very other side so you can start on either left or right side and then just work your way and then the case will come out just like so. Now, the fan module that's making noise is uh, when we're replacing it, it's going to be replaced with the heat sink. So it's all one piece. So make sure that you order, if you're replacing it, you have the correct part and some thermal paste as well. And as you can see, the fan is spinning freely there. But then the other one is really hard to spin and that was the cause for this issue and unfortunately you can't just fix this um, unless there was something stuck on there that you can remove um, otherwise i do have a part here that i actually pulled from another yoga um, that we we're using for parts and uh, already have the heat sink there cleaned as well now you you can buy this uh, probably on uh, lenovo's website perhaps i'm not sure maybe ebay um, just look up the part so let's start by removing the screws and um, again make sure that you do have uh, some thermal paste uh, you're going to need it so that when you're placing your your replacement part we're going to place a little dab right in the center now of course uh, before you start you want to go ahead and unplug the battery connection so just be also be very gentle when you're doing this you don't want to rip up the connector on the motherboard side so just wiggle it left and right a little bit and then it will come out just like so and then we'll just keep that aside there uh, now we'll go ahead and remove the screws that are holding down the fan module first um, there's a total of one two and three and then on the cpu there's one as well at the top and there's a mark on it so we'll go in that order basically one two and three there now these screws for the um, fan module they're all the same size so you don't have to worry about uh, misplacing them for the CPU end, just note that you can't, these screws will not fully be removed. Just keep twisting them until you start hearing clicks. And that's when you'll know they're out of the thread basically. Now, you also want to remove the cables that are connected to the fan module. There's two of them. Uh, the white cable is towards the top and then the black one is towards the bottom. You do have to remove that CMOS battery out of the way. It's usually held down by just some glue so you can just simply like uh, just remove it like so and keep it aside you don't have to unplug it and then be very gentle when you're removing those little cables for the uh, fan module if you're replacing the part of course in this case it doesn't matter we still don't want a broken part to be stuck in there so again the white cable goes on top the black on the bottom and then you're just gonna pull the fan module out from the um, and then you're gonna pull it out towards you so pull it up and then out towards you and it will come out just like so. So that part will be tucked in right into the case there. That's why you wanna pull it towards you. And here it is again, that's the one that's spinning freely and then the other one that is messed up and that's the reason why we're placing this part now. I have a rag here with some rubbing alcohol and I'm just gonna wipe all of that uh, thermal paste, the old thermal paste out of the CPU. Just make sure it's nice and clean and it's also dry. And you can use a cotton swab with rubbing alcohol to do this as well. Now with the thermal paste, you don't want to put a lot. You want to put maybe just a tiny little dab in the center. But in this case, um, if we take our fan module and we just do a test fit, we want to make sure that we place it exactly where that basically box is. 
So in my case, I'm just going to put a little bit of thermal paste right there on the heat sink. And that way it just distributes on the CPU itself when we place this uh, fan module. So just about so that much, you don't have to put um, a whole lot. You don't want to fill the whole thing with, with thermal paste. Now to put the fan module back, you want to slide that section right into the case there and make sure you align. So the way best way to know is you make sure your screws for the heat sink are being aligned and then it just drops just like so. And then we'll start by actually screwing the heat sink first um, before we head over to the fan module. So we'll go in the same order, number one, two, and then three. And just tighten them hand tight. You don't have to overdo it. Now we'll take those screws for the uh, fan module and we'll just start with the center there so we can hold everything in position and then put the other two on as well. All right, now we're left with those little cables. Again, the white cable will go towards the top and then the black one will go towards the bottom towards you. Now you may feel like the cables are not going in all the way, but they um, do as soon as you kind of push it a little bit. Try to use your nail just to make sure they're nice and uh, snug in there. Then finally, we'll take our CMOS battery and since the glue is still good, we'll go ahead and just place it right on top there. Just give it a little push with our thumb and then we're good to go there. Now, of course, we don't want to forget about our battery connection. So go ahead and put that back on. And that's pretty much it for this. Again, make sure everything is, is uh, connected. Make sure you didn't forget anything. So with our case, we'll put it from the bottom, start from the bottom there. We'll just push our case down little by little from all ends and then you'll start hearing clicks. 